Okay, boom! That's the end of the playoffs for everyone who thought that, you know, I don't know what you thought when you think to yourself all day long, but the thing is, we're not going to make the playoffs, and that's just it. So, we lost yesterday. Well, I got some things that I learned, but what do you, uh, well, what do you say, you're wrong. I hope we still make the playoffs, but uh, right now we've gotten three wins in the NFC. We've got two wins in the AFC. We have six games left in... Uh, um, I mean, it's it's pretty dire at this point. If you don't win them all, it's all every game is here and, you know, it's out of it. So I think if they lose one more game, you put Manuel back in, you know. Orton, you're kind of seeing why he's been bouncing around the league for five different teams. He's he's 35 and 35 his career. You know, now he's back to 500. Mm -hmm. He was he was 3 and 1, but he lost last two. Now he's 3 and 3 with the Bills, so he's back to 500. Yeah, well, 38 and 38, 38 now. 38 and 38. So, he's got a good game, he's got a bad game. When you really need him, he he really he isn't there. The last two games saw uh, they've gotten one touchdown. Um, mm. You know, and it's just not good enough. The the defense really held them to 17 this week. Um, yeah. The score was 22 to nine. However, uh, you know, you got the safety and they get the field goal at the very end when we went on fourth down at our own 10 yard line. You know, yeah, and it's not, and, um, it's not against the defense. And I know everyone hates the coaches, but uh, you know, Orton, when the blitz or the rush is coming at him, he just throws it. I mean, I'm sure we all seen it. Throws it into the dirt. Obviously, the penalty that killed us. And uh, when I seen uh, a couple plays, he'd throw it away, but there was someone wide open somewhere else. You know, there was opportunities. He was missing them, including the long bomb to uh, yeah. Watkins. That I, I wish they'd go back to that. You know, I, again, we don't know if it's the coach's fault. Uh, we'll go back to the, you know, is Maroon a Maroon here? You know, where's Bugs <laughs> Bunny? What a Maroon! <laughs> There's also uh, the new owner in town. There's a new guy in town. His name Pagula. Here's a picture of him and a, another guy. Do you recognize this guy in this picture here, Nate? Something, you know, this <laughs> this reminds me of something. This right here, this mandible jawline. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, there's a Facebook page, you know, Bring Cowart to uh, Buffalo. I don't know if you guys want to go out and hit the link and... Uh, We'll see if he, if if um, Pagula is gonna clean house here or what. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna clean house? Well, he's got the money to clean house, and well, there you go. Though five and five, five hundred. I think we're eight and eight and eight team at the best, and we probably, if you didn't fool yourself, you saw yeah. that all year. Yeah, I hope. Uh, we, what do we got? The Jets next week. Um, but you know, let's go a little stats. I don't know if we did if I did this. They were 0 7. They were had the lead at, at halftime. Right. You think they're in the game? It's a Monday night type game atmosphere. Everyone's all pumped up, but still six to three. They're 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 afraid of the end zone. They can't get it in there. No. Um, in the second half, they're 0 for seven on third downs. They're two 0 for two in the red zone. Missed tackles. McKelvin. I got his pretty jersey here. Uh, I was going to wear it today. I only wear the Bills jerseys on the wins. But uh, um, you know, uh, you know, he gets hurt on it. He, 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 you know, I like he's got some balls. He calls it. He says we're definitely going to win the game. Too <sighs> bet he was wrong about that. But he, yeah. he gets hurt on that, and they, on that one missed tackle, and he's sliding. He breaks his ankle. It looks like. And, yeah, there was uh, a lot of uh, bad know. footing on that field. I saw a lot of falling. A um, lot of big plays. We haven't given up a lot of big plays on defense, and we've, you know, we've been a lot now. The fourth and one against Kansas uh -huh. City this last week. Uh, but let's talk against the about the refs again. For some reason, it just doesn't seem like we're getting any breaks at all. With these I guys. watch other football games. I don't see it like this. I mean, I know they say, oh, well, it's only because you're a fan of the team, so then, therefore all you see is the negative against you. But Gilmore makes a perfect uh, breakup of that ball. He played the ball, which is what you're supposed to do. He never oh. – he his arm – the guy, you know – he didn't. He hit, it was perfect. Perfect. I, I mean, you I got the ball. What, what else when you he reach do? in front of a guy and knock the ball down. It's almost like, almost like, it doesn't matter what you do to him. But I mean, he didn't do anything to him. He had his arm slightly around him. There's going to be some contact, but yeah. but he makes a perfect play on the ball. He does not play the man at all. He's not. It's not like he tackles the guy before the ball gets there. No, he just, the guy. The guy didn't even look like he touched him. I mean, you had to look at it in slow motion to see his arm around the back that he that he even touched him. And anyway. it all happened all at the yeah. same time, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, which is what you're supposed to do. It was like a, it was a play. Listen to this. What uh, I think it's if I can't tell who's saying it. I think it, it might be. Um, is it Deion Sanders on the Thursday night game? He says it's atrocious. Now listen, he, he said. Middle, do you think that's pass interference? I think that's a horrific call. Yeah, I did two times. I yeah, thought Mario that was a horrific so. call. Five um, sack 
five, five tackles, three and a half sacks. What a monster game with the red eyes. Well, you know what? I was just saying to you beforehand, you know, some of that stuff, red eyes, I mean, you think it's sort of stupid, but hey, if you do three and a half sacks and you're all over the field, and we always read the Jerry Sullivan in the morning, and today I won't be reading it, but yeah. one of the things he always says is, hey, for 90... $5 million or whatever it is, you got to be able to win games on your own. Well, right there in the fourth quarter, he just steamrolled right through that guy, sacked the quarterback. Oh, it was beautiful. Took him out of field goal range. I mean, he gave Orton he was the his chance. chance yeah. That was single handed. I mean, no one helped him. You know, and, that was you know, it. Think about it. You know, we got the safety. Orton gives him the safety by just getting rid of it. You know, it, you know what? It's probably a bad call. But you don't give them a chance to make the call. You know, set, step up and make a darn pass. It seems like any time they gets any pressure, he just gets rid of it. He doesn't want to have the big killer play, but he's not really taking advantage of it. You know, we talk about Sullivan in the paper yesterday. He says, Marone facing moment of truth against the AFC East rival. And he didn't really face it really well. You know, on, on the positive note, you know, we had uh, the 100th game for Freddie Jackson. Here's a couple photographs of him and his family and some yeah, some last videos week. of him yeah. last week, and uh, you know he had his hundredth game. Didn't play. It hurt not having him in there today. Um, they talked about uh, on NFL this week the five best plays for the Bills. You know, I don't know. Could you could you name what they are, Nate? Uh, you know, what do um, you think were the five best plays? I don't know. Well, they certainly mm -hmm. weren't any penalties or anything like yeah. that. Well, there was the the um, the long Sammy Watkins sixty one pass yard pass to the against the Jets the. Uh, um, the Williams pass, which is a nice pass by E.J. Manuel, and maybe we got to bring him back in because without a, a, a quarterback, you're not going to win, and maybe in the only way this kid's ever going to learn if he's out there on the field until we draft the next guy, he's probably still our future. You know, we were all giddy with 3-1 when, when Orton started, sure. but it's we're coming down to reality that, you know, and, and, and I think it was John Clayton that said, uh, you know, when you're uh, – um, a backup quarterback, you're hoping he get, brings you to 500. He, it's a good backup quarterback, and that's what Orton is. He's a good backup. He brings you to 500 while your starter's out. Yeah. And and, and if even if you get Cowart without a quarterback, it doesn't matter. I mean, oh. you look at Marv Levy. You know, he's he's he doesn't have a quarterback. The year Jim Ch Kelly retires, we got uh, who's that? Who's, who's the guy we had? Billy Joel Holbert? No, no, no. no, no, no. That, oh, Todd on, Collins. Todd Collins. We win six games. The following year, we got a halfway decent quarterback, Doug Flutie. We win, we win ten or eleven games so and make the playoffs. Always the quarterback. You know, it's the quarterback. It's the conjunction so with you the coach. Can get, you could bring uh, Jesus Christ down and coach the team. If he doesn't have a quarterback, he's going to be in trouble. You got C.J. Spiller's long run. We missed him, you know, against the Dolphins. Yeah, the know, kick the, return. The kick, the kick return. return. And of course, you know, Orton. You know, every other game plays a nice game. He makes this nice play get with the. Uh, yeah, last um, second, Sammy last Watkins second against like Minnesota. That. Well, that's what it is. I mean, that's what I learned. I learned two things. One, that Orton isn't the guy. I still like the coach, and I don't care what y'all say out there, but yeah. um, the quarterback is a big deal. All the great coaches, they have a great quarterback, and things go in conjunction. Real so, quick, uh, just the stats. I mean, Orton had 193 yards. His worst game is a bill, 22 uh, completions for 39. You know, um, Anthony Dixon led us with yards and rushing, 35 measly yards, 10 carries. Chris Hogan had kind of a nice day, didn't he? He had seven catches nice first for, half uh, for sure. 74 yards. I mean, he seemed like every catch he had in that first half was on a third down for a first. For a first. We had a good third down percentage. Well, we were six and eight by the end of the – six of eight at one point in the second quarter. And I said, hey, you know, we're winning that battle. But it yeah. just didn't turn into points when we needed them. And we had to score touchdowns in the beginning because we didn't get chances in the end. Yeah, yeah. And – Here's a telling stat here. Corey Graham led the team in tackles seven. Whenever a defensive back leads the team yeah. in tackles and not a safety, a really, a corner, you know. There's a lot of balls downfield. There's a lot of plays downfield. I mean, you now, know, um, Lamar Miller had a big game in this. Brian Hartline, three catches for for 55 yards. It seemed like every time he caught it, he, you know, he's good yeah, it was good 20, 30 it was, yards killer, it was a killer. Yeah. It was and like It was a he, bad time yeah. for it, yeah. Now, not only is Orton not the quarterback, but we need Fred Jackson out there. That's... Pretty key. Last yeah. week we had him out there just a little bit, and it helped. We, we didn't win last week, but we looked a little bit better than this. Now he wasn't there at all. Brown is not good. Maybe he came back too soon. You know, he, he came. You know, against. Well, Kansas they said he City. heard it. And they said he heard it heard in practice. I read it today oh, yeah. in the on the Bills. Heard it again in practice. Yeah. yeah. But if they would have gave him another another four more days, maybe so. You know, maybe, maybe so. Maybe even take off these two games in both games and play next week against the Jets, and then. And that's it. But, These running backs aren't as good. It's pretty clear. It's funny. You, you never know. You say, oh, is Jackson really that good? Maybe Spiller's not good. 
this and that. They keep showing that stat. Spiller was leading the team in rushing, if anyone wants to, yeah, you know, decide. Yeah. And I know they say, oh, that big 50-yard run at the end. Well, you well, can't take it away. Yeah, that's the story of his life. I mean, you give it to him 10 times, and all of a sudden he breaks one for 50, 60 yeah, yards. Yeah, I'd rather so have uh, He does that all the time. I mean, he does it all the time. I mean... So that's pretty much it. We're not good enough, and uh, luckily we all get to roll rake the leaves or uh, get the snow blowers cranked up here on oh, Sunday. Oh yeah, we got a free Sunday. I keep saying I wish they would just give me my Sundays back. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So I got this Sunday. Well, let's see what happens against the Jets. Go Bills. Uh, you know, it's so tough. I hate the freaking Dolphins so bad. Any other team. You know, right now the Dolphins are six and four, and we're five and five. It would, mm -hmm. You know, it, oh, yeah, yeah. we were so close to six yeah. and three last week, and we could have been seven and three. Instead, we're five and five. Sure, and it's I'm sure we'll win all the rest yeah. of them. Yeah, we'll win them all. Green Bay will kick their ass. Oh, Aaron Rodgers, he's terrible. Go down to Denver and beat them. Beat up on. Uh, oh, sure. Oh, Denver. kill him. I he, mean, Manning, he's not that good of a quarterback, is he? He's all old, washed up. <laughs> Washed up. And of course, we'll beat New England in New England. We do that all the time. Oh, of course. Yeah, Brady, he's terrible, too. All right. <laughs> all right.